you're all set, we'll go uh, straight to questions for Coach Brock. Uh, yeah, Maurice will be a, a limited participant in practice this spring. Um, I guess I'll, I'll cover that topic first. Um, yeah, I'm troubled anytime anybody that's involved with our team uh, conducts themselves in a way that sheds a negative light on um, our team or our university. Um, we we take that seriously. Our, our players, everybody involved in our program needs to understand that they don't just represent themselves, they re represent uh, our team and the University of Nebraska, the athletic department and the whole state. Um, that That's a lot of responsibility, uh, but there's a lot of benefit that come along with being a, a player at the University of Nebraska too. And um, disappointed any time um, Anytime there's a, a negative light shown on any in any pieces of our university or athletic department. In, in regards to Maurice, uh, specifically, uh, we hope we gain a lot more clarity on the on the matter real soon. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, that process is is moving along. Um, hopefully, we'll get more clarity on soon. We're trying to keep him in as close to a normal routine as a student athlete as we can in the meantime. Um, I think any time anybody in our team behaves in a way that isn't consistent with the values of our, our team or our university, they run the risk of uh, losing playing time or putting their status on the team in jeopardy. Uh, but to me, it's, it's important to have a complete understanding of the situation before that decision's made. Uh, and just to be clear, that, that decision isn't made by me, it's made by uh, myself in conjunction with administration and the university. So uh, that's where we stand right now. I don't know a whole lot more about it. What, what's the definition of practice? practice? He's going to be a, a part of what we're doing out there. Um, just won't be doing as much as he, he might be doing. He, he has a lot of other things to worry about right now, and we're going to facilitate that to try to try to cooperate with the investigation, everything that's going on. So he'll do something at each practice? Uh, I don't know if it'll be at each practice. Um, again, that probably has... To, Depends on some of the details of, of what's going on uh, with his investigation, and we're going to cooperate any way we can. I know hindsight's 2020. When you think about the way the fall transpired, was there something you wish you had done differently, or you had done differently, or his, represent his initial representative had done differently? No, just to clarify some of that, uh, I knew very little about this in the fall. Um, I'm not sure how much. <laughs> Uh, any of us, I, well, I do know, we didn't know very much about it. Um, the extent of what we knew is that he was contacted for an interview. One of our members of our staff was contacted for an interview by the Attorney General of Nebraska. Um, at that time, uh, several of us on the second floor had a relationship with the former Attorney General of Nebraska, and we contacted him to represent him uh, in that questioning. Um, at that time, all I knew was it was a matter that uh, took place when he was in high school, and the impression I was given was it wasn't wasn't something they thought would elevate uh, to a level that required any more action by us. Um, the next I heard about it was in January, so I don't know what anybody else what anybody could have done any different in the fall. Scott, what would you say to someone who said, you know, when you look at it, there's a lot of details that were involved in what happened last fall, but the fact that the perception might be out there among some people that he was. <laughs> That that's completely not true. Um, you know, anytime that there's an investigation or any or our players are questioned in any way, uh, it's our job to step back and let the legal process run its course, cooperate any way we can. Um, there weren't any charges in the fall. Uh, I knew the little that was told to me in the fall, and that was that he was wanted for questioning and. Um, knew very little beyond that, and it, I don't believe, think it's my place to do investigations. In fact, that's where a lot of people get themselves in trouble. Um, this will run its course and justice will be served. Um, but uh, again, I don't think anybody could have done anything different last fall. Yeah, uh, compared to last year, um, 
the, the two things that stood out to me practice one was number one, the guys knew where to go. Uh, you know, we're, we weren't teaching everything for the very first time. And we weren't teaching guys where to line up in drills, where to line up in stretch, how we want them to be dressed, uh, what the names of the plays were, what the signals were. Uh, it kind of took off from a, a point that looked a lot like the end of fall camp last year from that standpoint, with guys having a familiarity with what we're doing in our processes. Uh, the second big difference is uh, just the strength and conditioning levels of our team. Uh, Zach Duvall and his staff.